up YouTube uh, yesterday I released a video stating on why I believe Curry is the best point guard of all time and today we're gonna talk about why I think Jordan um, is the second best player of all time uh, to LeBron I'm gonna give y'all five reasons why um, but but before we even go into that I was watching this video before I started and everything this dude was saying was true Actually, the reason I, before I get into it, the reason I got this video playing, even though it's football, is because what he was saying. And I know y'all can't hear what he's saying, but y'all get the bigger picture, right? Y'all get the picture. All right, anyway, so dude was like, all right, so this, this is facts. Um, a lot of people, a lot of y'all won't even realize this or know this to listen closely to what I'm about to say. Jordan was, Jordan played with the boys, they was 50. They won 58 games. He left the Bulls to play baseball. They won 56, claiming that the team was good without him. I mean, they lost two less games without him. You feel me? And they could have easily made the finals again and won. But we're not going to talk about that because if you were a real, I don't want to say a real basketball fan, but if you were old or you actually knew what was going on at that time or you did your research, you know exactly what happened back then. So I don't even feel like explaining it. You feel me? But yeah. Anyway, y'all you know saying so um we about to get into this. Uh before I get into it, there was a couple more things I want to say about Jordan. Okay, so I said the 58 56 game, right? Uh also Jordan once scored like 60 points and the Bulls lost. And the reason I want to tell y'all that is even though he scored 60 points, they still lost, claiming that it's a team game. So all his team success. It was because his team, not him. You feel me? It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a team game. You feel me? Also, I also want to mention Michael Jordan. Yes, he's six and zero. Yes, LeBron is he three and six? Um, but don't 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 discredit LeBron for making it nine times. You feel me? Jordan couldn't make it more than nine. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Jordan was in the league. Uh, for a while. I think he played like 15 seasons, right? So he was in, he was in the league for like nine seasons, right? He didn't win the championship the first year, second year, third year, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. You get it, you get it, you get it, right? You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Like, I don't understand what people try to say that that champion stuff matters. I mean, because be honest, dog. I mean, is it, who fought is it, it? He wasn't good enough to make the finals every year. So y'all really gonna fault LeBron for making it but not winning? It's not, it's nobody fought that Jordan couldn't beat the Pippins, make it to the finals, and then lose. That's nobody's fault. He couldn't face uh, uh, a Magic Johnson in the finals and lose. You know what I'm saying? How y'all credit somebody for losing in the first round? I don't understand that, dog. Let's talk about playoff records instead of final records, please. Okay, then. <laughs> y'all went through that. But anyway, we're going to get into this. You know what I'm saying? I had let... Well, I didn't just say a couple of things, you feel me? Because people be getting me mad. When they, it don't make no sense how y'all can even say Jordan is better. It's not even close to me. But anyway, uh, first on this, we're talking about LeBron's statistic advantage. Um, so, like, while, like, Jordan might be considered the better scorer with, like, more accomplished career and, like, terms of NBA championships, LeBron is the best all-around player in that. And their individual statistics only reinforce this notion. Michael... Like he got the advantage of NBA championship, uh, MVPs, uh, points per game, free throw percentage. LeBron, though, he beat Jordan in all NBA first team selections. Pre, uh, I mean, per game statistics for rebounds, assists, blocks, overall field goal percentage. Not to mention, LeBron is the only player in NBA history with 30,000 points, 8,000 assists, and 8,000 rebounds. You feel me? I mean, LeBron affectionately and dominance cannot be swept under the rug. His bully ball style on offense proves to be unstoppable. He has continued to be a force to be reckoned with on defense. Just ask Iggy and uh, Rozier, who have been on the uh, receiving end of his trademark chase down block. LeBron's ability to not only play but dominate all five positions is reminiscent of the great Magic Johnson. Uh, the case can be made that even though uh, Jordan averaged more points than LeBron, LeBron was a more effective scorer. Uh, and that he averaged only 2.9 fewer points on 3.3 uh, fewer shots attempts. That is only six to nine uh, that LeBron uh, replenishes by not taking those shots. And that's really something I try to tell y'all because, like, um, a lot of people say 
wow, LeBron just got to this record. Like, Dritton touched uh, 30,000 points in his such and such year. You're right. You're right. But let's look at field goal percentage and how many field goals. Like, yeah, he might have, yeah, he might have made that faster, but he put up two thousand extra shots. So LeBron would have, so LeBron shooting with a better field goal percentage. And if we're really gonna be honest, let's look at the assists. LeBron is not a, a, a just a straight scorer. He's a passer too. You know what I'm saying? So even though, like, Le, Michael Jordan got it faster, he didn't get it better because the field goal percentage. Well, LeBron got it better and more efficiently. I really try to tell people that because they just always go that uh, Le- Michael Jordan had his in his ninth season. Well, that's the only points. You know what I'm saying points don't win you points do win you games, but as you can see, uh, LeBron, I mean Michael Jordan dropped 60 and still lost. So you got to get your teammates involved too. So uh, LeBron James does this. But um, number two on the list, we'll talk about um, team performances uh, following their departure. Kind of what I was talking about. So uh, when Michael Jordan decided to hang up his sneakers for the first time in exchange for professional baseball in 1994, I was talking about earlier, nobody had predicted the Bulls or had a similar success. I mean, you would think he'd go, right? But uh, MJ was considered to be the athlete who, who set a new uh, standard of excellence and profession in the craft. On paper, the, uh, the virus that Epstein has created would be a tough harder to overcome. Their truth was quite the uh, contrary. Uh, as the Jordan less Bulls LeBron went on to produce a 55 uh, 27 season, just two wins short of the previous season when MJ was part of the team. You feel me? Like I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Oh, I just. LeBron James made the decision to depart Cleveland in 2009 when he entered into free agency, while James created a Jordan like boy uh, on the um team he was leaving. Uh, the results of his absence was far more like worse. For Cleveland, like for the 2009-2010 season, they produced in like a record of like 19 and 63, uh, following the NBA best uh 61-21 record. Uh, just from LeBron leaving, they went from 61 to 21 to 19 and 63. Um, those numbers right there tell you who moved valuable to the team. Let's be honest. I really want y'all to listen to this. Don't just watch the video and not listen to what I'm saying. Listen. Listen, y'all hear those numbers. I mean, 61-21, 1963, one player. That's LeBron. Jordan leave, two less losses. Not to mention, Michael Jordan, we're going to talk about this at the end. No, hey, we'll talk about it now. Cut. LeBron is playing against the greatest shooter of all time. Five Hall of Fame, potential Hall of Famers, at least five All-Stars from last year. Last year. Not ever. Last year on one team. Um, you know, two MVPs in their prime. LeBron is playing against an area where dudes average triple-double twice in a season. You feel me? Where dudes putting up 81. You feel me? Where dudes putting up 70. You feel me? You got the greatest shooter of all time, the greatest, arguably the greatest team of all time, a team that set the record for the most wins of all time, where Jordan played against 5-3 Muggsy Bulls. He wouldn't make the NBA now. So that's all I'm going to say. The fact that he was in the NBA at 5-3, that would never happen now. So that should just tell you the talent differences. I'm going to just leave it at that. You feel me? I'm going to just leave it at that. I mean, did Jordan play against people averaging triple doubles? No, he didn't. The competition was less, so he did better. You feel me? It's like, it's like how college players play good in college, but when they make it to the NBA, they're not the same. He would like Jordan was good for his for his competition, but if you put him in the NBA now, he wouldn't do the same thing. I know nobody's gonna agree with me. Oh no, he had that killer instinct. Uh, we, we gonna never know. You feel me? But I always look at that college thing because people play good against less competition, but when they actually play against better competition, they ain't as good. And I don't think I mean five three months ago was really good competition. But hey, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, number three, um, Jordan's more physical. Uh, era, you know, a lot of people say era. Um, while I was high school, the big that the NBA and game official allowed for a more physical style of play with Jerry was playing. Athletes in the days are larger, faster, and stronger than their predecessors. Uh, nutrients like food and all that, like better, and like workout stuff is all that better. Uh, James was recently on record saying he spent like 1.5 million uh, for a year, you know, what I'm saying on his body, you feel me. Just to work out and stuff like that. Uh, the other fact is that commonly overlooked in the fact that uh, Jordan was um, 
been in fact the NBA expansion team twice from uh, 1988 and 1989. The NBA added four teams, Heat's, Hornets, Timberwolves, uh, Magic to the lead. But where would they get their world-class uh, players from overnight? In order to fulfill the need of the rosters, the NBA more or less needed to impose the decision to load the new teams uh, who with they felt the best uh, available players. Um, primary at MJ's conference, three of the teams were from the East, whom he would play a majority of the games against throughout the season and postseason. Uh, meaning that like, he played against bad teams because... Um, they was new teams and it was the expansion. I'm not really gonna talk about that because y'all probably not really getting it and I don't make this video too long, so I'm just going to the next topic. Uh, LeBron's area of heightened competition with super teams uh, and player movement. It's kind of what I was just telling y'all earlier, but as much as LeBron's biggest, I mean, as much as Michael's uh, biggest, uh, 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 like fans, the bigger, biggest, the biggest fans he got might tell you the opposite. Michael never had to face the talent and athleticism uh, LeBron face today, which I was just saying earlier. While Mike, while uh, LeBron is about to go into, well, hold up, while like, while Brian going in like the round four with the Warriors super team headed along by four All Stars, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be five coming up this year. I don't know if he's gonna make it though. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mike would never face a team uh, in the finals with more than two All Stars, and LeBron facing four. LeBron had to face four. In fact, uh, half of his championships was against a one man team like the. Like the Drexler 92 Timberwolves or, or like the Malone 98 Jazz. <laughs> LeBron opponents in the finals have included two or more All-Stars in seven out of the nine appearances with the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Me and them, LeBron face greater competition. That's facts. Number five, the case for LeBron in 2017-18 uh, NBA season. No one in the 15 seasons of their careers at age 33 has accomplished uh, what LeBron had did last season, uh, dominating and efficiency rating. He has averaged the most uh, rebounds and assists of his uh, uh, of his career this season, uh, last season, uh, like a fine, like fine one, like he was saying. He was only, he only getting better with age with no signs of slowing it down. He started and played in all the 82 regular season games uh, and the playoff games, playing the most minutes in the NBA. Um, LeBron was playing like 48 minutes he played like 48 minutes in his 100th game of the 2017 uh, 2018 season, posting stats of like 35, 15, and 9, uh, breaking the hearts of Boston fans and silencing his critics in game 7 uh, versus the Celtics. Uh, on the journey to his eighth straight finals appearance, LeBron has accomplished some never uh, before seen feats against the Pacers in the first round. LeBron averaged at least 30, 10, and 7. No other player in NBA history has done that uh, more than once. He also improved his career first uh, record, first record round uh, to 13 and 0 in the, in the conference semi against Toronto. Uh, uh, James became the uh, NBA all-time leader in postseason steals. His total prior in Game One of the Finals series uh, sits at 414. Not to mention he passed Kareem and MJ for the most points in NBA playoff history with 6,775. Uh, prior to game one, and I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. That was just some of the reasons why I think Michael Jordan uh, is nowhere near as good as LeBron. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, leave a comment um, on what I can do to make these videos better. Let me know what I can do to make these videos better, please. Let me help me out with these joints. Uh, I just shared my thoughts with y'all. I think Michael Jordan is a good player, but I don't think he's nowhere near LeBron level. Um, and I just told y'all some of the reasons why. I mean, you can agree, you can disagree. Hopefully, I persuaded some people to think um, I gave some people the right answer. I mean, everybody got their own opinion, but I got the right opinion. You feel me? And y'all got the wrong opinions if y'all think Jordan is better than Brian. I'm not trying to next one. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. I do, uh, make sure y'all subscribe, man. I'm doing more videos like this every day. I just dropped a Curry video yesterday. I'm not trying to next one. I'm out though. Peace.